The best sandwich for summer is a lobster roll and they're super simple to make. I'm gonna show you how right now. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with the Spurban Soapbox and today we are making a summer classic lobster rolls. They're super simple to make. It takes just a few minutes. If you have fresh lobster that's left over from a party or you can use frozen thawed lobster, these whip up in literal minutes. To make a lobster roll, and there are different kinds of lobster rolls. There's like a Rhode Island lobster roll, there's a Maine lobster roll. Everybody has their own version. And we have fresh lobster here. So I like a mix of claw and tail meat. You can use all tail meat, you can use all claw meat. It's whatever you really like in a lobster roll. And then you also need some mayonnaise, a little lemon juice, salt and pepper. I like chopped chives and then butter just to drizzle on top. And then I like the, the top split hot dog rolls. These are also called New England hot dog rolls. And we just toast them a little bit on the grill or you can even toast them in a pan with some butter. So to make our lobster roll, we're just going to mix together these ingredients here. So we're just gonna make like the dressing. And all it is is some mayonnaise and a little bit of lemon juice and some salt and pepper. And just give that a little stir and then we're gonna fold it into the lobster meat. And we're gonna chop the lobster up into like little bite-sized pieces. All right, so we just wanna cut up. So you're not pulling out like a big claw. This is a good time to check for shells too. Nobody likes a shell, but then we know like it's real lobster, see? little cartilage in there. So put all your lobster meat back into the bowl and then we're gonna just stir in the dressing, which is really not a dressing, it's just a little lemon juice with some mayonnaise. So we'll pour that over top. Give it a little stir. Now we're gonna assemble the lobster rolls and finish them up. And I'm starving, so this is perfect timing. And you can see, I just grilled them a little bit. It just gives them a little extra texture. And when you go to like New England or something and order a lobster roll, it's usually toasted in the middle, like they'll put it down on a griddle or a grill this side. It keeps it from getting like soggy. So you just fill them up with a little bit of the lobster meat. Oops. This would be easier with tongs, but it is what it is. All right, so there's one lobster roll. So I'm gonna finish these up and plate them and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, so chives. You can skip the chives if you're not a chive fan, but I love a lot of chives. It's fairly simple. We'll just do the little drizzle of some butter. This butter makes everything better. And then top with a little lemon. And then when you serve it, everybody can just do a fresh squeeze of lemon on their own roll. Cooper's here for it. And then mine. There you go. There's your lobster roll. So easy, I am taking a bite. So I'm gonna do a squeeze of the lemon right on top. Take a quick bite. Mmm, that is so good. Fresh, briny, and delicious. Not overly mayonnaise-y. It is the perfect lobster roll. If you like this recipe, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.